Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and today I'm going to be unboxing an absolutely enormous box that is stuffed to the brim full of Gucci. Everything you see in today's video was purchased using Bai a proxy service that's your golden ticket to shopping in Japan. And no, this video is not sponsored. I purchased these items with my own money and I'm here to show you everything that I found. Here's how it works. You go to the Baiyi website and it's like a portal to Japanese online stores. You shop, add items to your cart and Baiyi takes care of the rest. They'll even repack your items to ensure they arrive safely to your doorstep. Imagine having a personal shopper in Japan who goes out gets what you want and sends it to you, no matter where you are in the world. That's basically what Baiyi does, but it's all online and super streamlined. They've got partnerships with a ton of Japanese online stores, so you're not limited in choices. Japan's pre-loved luxury market is impeccable. The condition of used items is often so good, they're practically like new. With Baiyi, you can find all the Gucci treasures your heart desires with just a few clicks. If you guys want to see it, I'll make an in-depth video guide on how to shop on Baiyi and how to make sure you're purchasing authentic items, because I know that's a big concern when shopping for brands like Gucci, Chanel and Louis Vuitton. Baiyi offers an authentication service, which means your Gucci items are verified for authenticity before they even leave Japan. So with that, let's have a look at everything Gucci that I bought secondhand from Japan. Here we go. come from different sellers and they all get sent to the Baiyi distribution warehouse where they can stay for up to 90 days or possibly more if you pay a storage fee. So that means if you're planning on buying something on a Monday and then let's say there's an auction going and it's set to end on a Friday for another item, you can buy your first item and you can safely just leave it at the warehouse until you win your next auction and then that piece goes to the warehouse too and you can consolidate all of your items into one bundle so that you don't have to pay shipping on everything because it, it is surprisingly cheaper to pay for a heavier parcel than it is to pay for a bunch of smaller parcels coming through customs. What are you doing in there? So, let's get quiet on set and we'll have a little bit of ASMR style package unboxing. Let's start off with these green ones because I reckon these are probably going to be sunglasses or jewellery. This wouldn't be a delivery from Japan unless there was an excessive amount of packaging. <laughs> Oh, okay. Velvet green sunglasses case. Oh, <gasps> look. We've got the embossed Gucci logo on the lid. And look at how thick the glass is on these glasses. And here they are. They are so beautiful. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. I'm just going to calmly open each item first and then we'll have a real proper close look at everything, okay? Second parcel. Oh! Why yes. Yes, I did get a turtleneck brand new with tags for just over a hundred dollars. Third thing, it's almost the same shade of pink that I'm wearing right now. Now this is the only item that isn't Gucci. This is in fact Louis Vuitton. <gasps> what in the Paris Hilton Y2K is this? The little Gucci logo in Diamantes. Oh, 
That was a really dumb idea. The scissors just went straight into that box. I dread the thought of what could have happened if I punctured some Gucci. Oh, this. You have no idea how much I've been looking forward to what is in this tiny, tiny little box. This is a ring. And I originally saw this ring on Bai and I was outbid. And I stalked the website for three months until I found another one. Got the little Gucci jewelry bag and hiding inside. Ta-da! Oh my God, it's huge. <laughs> oh dear, this is enormous. Oh, <gasps> yay! one of the prettiest books I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what is. <gasps> this is such an iconic Gucci design. <laughs> oh, wow. I can tell I'm going to have sensory issues with this already. Oh God, it's so scratchy. This is a Gucci sweater and it's beautiful, but it's so, uncomfortable for me specifically. I have major sensory problems with things touching my skin. And this is one of those fabrics that's just, it's not in agreement. It's, it, it, <laughs> mm. oh dear. I'm scared to take this one out of its plastic, to be honest. I fear the thought of exposing it to the outside world. <laughs> This is a beautiful, beautiful little Gucci vest. All right, I'm gonna take the rest out of this big box. One, two, three, four, five. This is stunning. This is so beautiful. And it looks like they also sent the dust bag and the original velvet Gucci hanger too. Even the hanger is bougie. Oh dear. This is going to be sad. When I purchased these items last year, these probably would have fit me, but I've gained a lot of weight since then and I don't think that there's a chance at all that they're going to fit me now. for that belt on its own, to be honest. Oh my God, these aren't gonna fit me. There's no way in the world. Oh, oh shoot. Oh my God. This is absolutely iconic. This is a suede coat from the 70s. That's worth about $5,000. This is for sale on first dibs for $5,000. And I got it for 500. Look at that detail. I love when they send the packaging, when they send the bougie ass boxes. You know, people literally sell boxes like this for 40, 50, 60 bucks each, just for the empty box alone. Oh my gosh. It's got its sticker. Has this ever been opened? <gasps> Ooh, I'm gonna leave that in its box for now. And they sent the shopping bag too. Last one. Eee! Oh my God. Wow. Isn't she beautiful? Look at the little hearts. <laughs> and it's my favorite color, it's lilac. Okay, give me a minute to arrange this dresser in an aesthetic way and also to clean up the literal mountain of packaging. Okay, so I've aesthetically laid everything out and I'm gonna give you guys some really nice close-ups of every item and we're gonna have a look at the listing online, look at the price that I paid and then try to determine the market value of each item. So, let's start off with the sunglasses. 
So these came with their beautiful green velvet case and I had a look online and I was so surprised to see that people actually sell these velvet cases anywhere from 40 Australian dollars to 50. I even spotted some listings that were $70. The case is really beautiful and heavy, but take a look at these glasses. They are so special. They're some of the most beautiful glasses I've ever seen and I love the shape of the arm. Did you know that the arm of sunglasses is supposedly called the temple? I, I didn't know that. <laughs> but yeah, look at the shape of them and it's interesting how the arm is actually lower on the frame. So the style is the GG0352S and uh, they are made in Japan. Here's the listing on Bai. This is the listing that I won and I paid 272 Australian dollars, which is 25,000 yen. Now, a quick eBay search showed me that these glasses go for about 400 US dollars. Here they are on eBay in the same color. You can see 636 Australian dollars. They were 620 US dollars, but they've been reduced. Having a look at the top of the page here, you can also see in different colors, $600 for that pair, $650 for that pair. So the fact that I only paid about 270 Australian dollars means that I got an absolute bargain on these glasses. So here I am wearing them and these glasses really give me major 1970s vibes. Glasses in the 70s were tinted, bold and oversized, and that's definitely what these are. I think the color actually matches my hair really well. And despite the fact that they do kind of look like they're upside down when you look at them from the side, it makes them different and they do stand out. They're quirky, unique, and they're honestly some of, if not the nicest sunglasses that I've ever owned. The next pair came in another Gucci box. Don't know the value of this one. It was a little bit scuffed up, but the glasses themselves are in excellent condition. Now there's a huge difference between the quality of these glasses and the previous pair that I showed you. These feel a lot lighter and that is reflected in the value. These Gucci sunglasses are made in Italy and the style is the GG1777. Now I had a look online and the price points did vary. I paid 106 Australian dollars, which is 9,800 yen. On Grailed, they show as $205. On Worth Point, they show as 350. And on Vestier, they are only $176. They are Gucci by Tom Ford, and they are such an iconic Tom Ford design. Not only are the lenses purple, but the rhinestones on the temples are purple as well. I love the shape of the arms. They're sleek, sophisticated, minimalist, and they scream early 2000s. Here I am trying them on, and they are definitely not the sort of sunglasses that you'd wear for any practical purpose. They're much more of an accessory, like a piece of jewelry, than something that you'd wear to protect your eyes from the sun. But you know what? Doesn't matter at all, because as far as the Y2K fashion trends go, was it really about being practical? No. If it was about being practical, mini skirts wouldn't be the size of dental floss and neither would sunglasses. Next up, let's have a look at my absolute favorite item from today's video. I love chunky statement sterling silver jewelry and Gucci does it so well. I paid 16,000 yen for this, which is just shy of 200 Australian dollars. Now that might sound like a lot, but as far as I'm concerned, for something that I'm going to get so much wear out of, that's a great price. This was considered to be damaged slash dirty, but I think it's in great condition. Having a look on a few different websites, I can see that the Twisted Garden Ring is valued anywhere from $400 to $600. The ring has a dotted border around the outside and the interlocking GG logo on the face of it. It's so heavy and so beautiful. Here's the stamp showing made in Italy. I bought this ring to wear as a daily ring on my thumb, but it does also fit on my middle finger as well. This next item won't be everyone's cup of tea, but I have a massive thing for coffee table books. And this Gucci coffee table book from holiday 2018 was only 10 Australian dollars. That's 980 yen. Now, the funny thing about this book is upon doing a bit of research, you can see that on Grailed, this sold for $45. Then another version of it sold for $80 from a different seller. But then heading over to First Dibs, you can see that it sold for $186. And I only paid 10. 
It's such an interesting design. It's got this strange sort of holographic fabric on the front and back cover, which is so beautiful, the way that it shifts in the light. Now there's a lot of different Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, etc. coffee table books that you can purchase, but I was particularly excited about this one from Holiday 2018, because 2018 was an amazing year for Gucci as far as I was concerned. There's been some hit or miss years, I would say, with some really strange designs, but 2018 really played around with some interesting colors and textures. There were a lot of metallics, there were pastels, there were crystals, it was so beautiful. And the photography that's in this book, it's really inspirational. It's actually a really enjoyable book to just sit down and look through. I've got some great ideas for how I'm gonna photograph things for Instagram in the future to show off some of the stuff that I've purchased. But if you guys wanna see a more in-depth look at this book, just let me know down below. We can do a session where we sit down and look at all of the pages and discuss some of the most interesting products. But everything that you see on these pages, all of this was available ready to wear. On this page here, I actually purchased these sneakers. See these really heinously weird but awesome crystal adorned sneakers? I bought those but I returned them because I just couldn't justify the purchase. So yeah, if you want to have a look through this book with me, let me know down below. But I'm so happy with this for only $10. This has to be one of the best book home decor purchases I've ever made. And now the moment that I'm sure you've all been waiting for, this absolutely delicious Gucci handbag with little love hearts on the buckles. I love this bag so much and it only cost me $270. Now it was so fairly priced because it's considered to be a little damaged slash dirty, which I find really funny because when I look at it closely, I don't think it's dirty at all. It's got regular wear, but I don't consider it to be damaged or dirty. Now having a look across the internet, I see this selling for various prices. This is over a thousand Australian dollars on this website. This is over 500 Australian dollars here on eBay. On Lux DH Designer House, it's 680, but I believe that's US dollars, which is probably 800, 900 Australian. And then on Poshmark, 950. So the fact that I got this for less than 300 Australian dollars is fantastic to me. Let's have a little bit of a look at some of the markings that are on the bag. If you look really closely, you can see the wear and tear. There's a little tiny bit of wear on the handle here, but you know what? It's only when you get up really, really close and look at it that you notice this. And as far as I'm concerned, I would rather have a handbag that's ever so slightly worn like this and know that that wear and tear is on someone else's conscience and is in fact not on mine. Because if I get a bag and I'm paying a huge amount of money for it, I'm damn well too scared to take it out in public in case I give it little scratches and scuff marks. So I'm much happier spending less money and buying something that someone else put wear and tear on because like I said that's on their conscience I didn't do that <laughs> now I could make an entire video series about how to authenticate luxury bags but a dead giveaway is usually the stamping if you have a look here every single little metal detail has the Gucci logo stamped on it and it's all crisp lettering it's all evenly sized and while I won't go in depth on this right now there's a lot that you can learn from the rectangular leather tag on the inside, as well as the serial number and potential QR code. Since about 2016 to 2017, all the way through to 2021, on top of their serial numbers on their tags, Gucci also started using QR codes on a little black fabric tag inside the bag. The QR codes can be scanned with a smartphone to authenticate them, but we'll go into detail on that in another video. I'm gonna get so much wear out of this bag. It's a perfect size, it's gonna hold so much, and this beautiful lilac color is gonna match so many things in my wardrobe. Now, this bag did come in different colors. If you have a look over on Farfetch, you can see that it comes in this brown color. Farfetch has this bag listed for $959. It's actually called the GG Canvas Lovely Tote Bag. The brown color has gold hardware. Here's another one that's being sold for $719. This one has more wear than the other one that you just saw. And while the color that's listed on Farfetch is more classic, this one is definitely my preference. It matches my new sunglasses perfectly. So as far as accessories go, that's everything that I have to show you that I purchased secondhand on Baiyi from Japan. All right, so now that we've looked through all the accessories, let's have a look at 
just one of the items of clothing because I don't want this video to be too long. So if you're interested in seeing the clothing that I bought, and uh, I really think that you will be because it's all glorious and beautiful and worth so much more than I paid for it, uh, come back for part two. But I figured so that I don't leave you guys, you know, high and dry, I'll show you one piece of clothing. So from the list here, what should I show you? Um, okay, as a recap, we've got a sweater, a little turtleneck, we've got a jungle print button up, we've got a vest, we've got a Louis Vuitton turtleneck, we've got a shirt dress, leather pants, sparkly dress and suede coat. I think I'm just gonna show you the uh, sweater. Like I said, when I was unboxing it, I'm a little bit nervous about how this is going to feel against my skin because I do kind of struggle with certain textures and this one definitely feels scratchy. Not because of the quality or anything like that, I think it's because it's pure wool and my skin just does not agree with wool. So let me have a little look at the, well okay, I was gonna say the fabric composition tag but it's actually more like a, a manual. Look, <laughs> there's like five pages to this thing. It's uh, made in Italy and, ah uh, yep, 100% wool. Yep, hence why uh, my skin is like eh. Here it is on and I'm actually really surprised that it's comfortable. It's not irritating my skin, but I am wearing long sleeves underneath it. The neckline, this sparkly material, I thought that was going to be really scratchy, but it's not at all. It's got these beautiful buttons that have a kind of iridescence to them. And I think the fit is really flattering. Here's the listing on Baiyi, and I paid 360 Australian dollars for this. That's 30,000 yen. My taste in clothing has changed since I first purchased this, and I don't think that I would buy this again. But originally when this was sold on Gucci in 2017, it was 1,220 euro, which is over 2,000 Australian dollars. It's not available on Gucci anymore, and I can't find any current listings for it anywhere but I think that I got a pretty good deal. All right, everyone, that's everything that I'm going to have a look at in today's video. If you enjoyed this and you enjoy designer luxury clothing and you'd like to see more shopping secondhand designer goods from Japan, then don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up on this video as well so I know that you enjoyed it. If there's any other brands that you'd like to see me explore, whether it be Louis Vuitton, Prada, Dolce & Gabbana, Dior, whatever the brand may be, let me know in the comment section below and I will happily do another video where I shop on Baiyi or another Japanese proxy shopping website to thrift some secondhand luxury. So if you want to see these clothes, come back in a couple of days to see part two. I'm going to try them all on. I'm going to show you guys what I paid for them, what they're worth. I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler. Like I said earlier, the suede jacket, I have found it on first dibs for $5,000 and I paid 500 for that one. Didn't pay anywhere near that much for some of the other pieces. But uh, yeah, if you want to see a breakdown of the clothing that I got, come back, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah!